So favorite bent arm drills. And when I'm talking about with bent arm, they're your classic exercises that people develop a lot in the gym. Think things like push-ups, bench press. We tend to do a lot of upper body strength and power exercises in a bent arm fashion. So where we um, progress from a straight arm through to bent arm and then and power off. And my favorite few exercises for improving your strength so your ability to generate maximum force is bench press, floor press. So that just reduces the range of the bench. Concentric bench, which you use safety pins in your rack, in your squat rack, and you're powering up heavy weight as fast as you can. From there, we have our straight arm drills. As I mentioned, sometimes you, you don't actually need to fend someone off. You just need to hold them away. And you'll see players do that in the AFL. So that ability to be able to actually keep your distance because you've got your football in the other hand hold them away and then change direction and sprint away from the opponent using your leg speed. Um, or you might be holding someone away for the key position players to be able to then maintain a strong dominant position to mark the football, get ground balls, so forth. So single arm planks, great exercise, really important cue when you're doing straight arm gym drills that you're focusing on locking out that elbow. So it requires a lot of tricep strength and upper back chest strength to be able to lock out that elbow and not, have a uh, collapse into the positions. Now, for, that's our upper body. Now we're going to our rotational power drill. So for those that aren't blessed with um, superhuman upper body strength for you, you're going to need to continually work on your strength, but you, you may also want to focus on your rotational power. And that's being able to use your hips and your, and your core. So cable wood chops, fantastic exercise. Change the angle of the, of the cable from low to medium to high. Power banded, rotate and row. So that's when you're in a split stance and you rotate your hips and, and row the band as fast as you can. Using the torsonator, using a torso rotational press. So you're in a split stance and you're driving that um, torsonator up towards from your hip, up towards your uh, the height of your chin. Now we have the our favorite anti-rotational drill. So if you're weak through the core, and you're trying to fend someone off and they're stronger than you, then that you'll lose a dominant position in your hips and your hips will break and your shoulders will collapse. Whereas if you're strong with anti-rotation, someone will push you or you'll push someone and you'll be able to maintain that position because you've got good anti-rotation through your trunk. So my favorite ones are the ring rotation. So they're hard to explain over the presentation, but check out our ring rotations in our YouTube channel power off press so that's quite a common one in athlete stance you can use a cable or a power band 